Today's Fast Thought is sponsored by CHFA, the Canadian Health Food Association. They host Canada's largest conference and trade show dedicated to all things natural, organic, and wellness. Next show is in Vancouver, March 30th to April 2nd. Retailers who register by March 3rd get a VIP package filled with perks. Head to chfanow.ca slash Vancouver to find out more. We'll be there. We hope to see you there too. Um, so we've got uh, Justin Osborne and, and Alex with us. And uh, this is Hearts and Carts, the guys from Hearts and Carts. Uh, and what we thought we'd do today for today's Fast Thoughts is uh, just talk a little bit about this crazy game we're in right like we're all, we're in cpg and retail and uh you know it it kind of takes it takes something special to be in this industry and stay in the industry as long as we've all been in it so i thought we'd just do that for for um a fast thought today i thought that might be kind of fun uh alex justin this this game and and like why retail and then and then a retail podcast like what what's yeah. the deal it's a good question. I think first, thanks for having us on a collaboration yeah. podcast. Yeah. This is kind of fun. Maybe, maybe yeah, this is yeah, part of the yeah. reason why we're doing yeah. it is to connect yeah. with people like yourself. But um, the why CPG in the first place, I didn't, and we've talked about this. Like I didn't grow up thinking I was going to sell packaged yeah. goods, right? Like not something I know. I know Kenny grew up more in the grocery store. Like I didn't, I, I'd never thought about this. Yeah. I kind of stumbled into it and, and fell in love with it because it was like, you had been going to grocery stores and consuming products your whole life but you didn't know like there's this whole world behind it. Like, like I, I first started in category and learned about how yeah. you know consumers shop the shelf and where their eyes go and yeah. where you anchor certain products and you know, the, the strike zone and all these different things that like, wow, it was just amazing to me, the science behind it. And then just learning these call outs on things and different promotions and bundling. And so I just kind of fell in love with sort of the, the science almost behind it and how yeah. we purchase things. And even to this day now, like I can't go through a grocery store as like a true consumer anymore because I go oh, down yeah, these yeah. stupid, I go down every aisle for every company 100%. I've ever worked for. I check yeah. it. I look at products. I'm like, Oh, that's really nice packaging. Let me hold that and look at it. So my entire like, you know, focus has changed, but I think just that's what made me sort of fall in love with it was it was like this world behind the curtain that I didn't even know existed and was just, just so fascinating. Alex, you want to maybe answer that one? And then I can't, yeah. I can't get through a grocery. So the wife sees the look <laughs> and then she just leaves, right? Like yeah. she just like, I'm going shopping. I don't need a, yeah. I don't need a fucking like explanation for everything I'm going to buy or put in the cart. I'm, I'm, you just go do whatever it is you're going to like, do. <laughs> I know I'm like a friggin' child. Like we go through and I'm like, I pick up a product and I look at it for like two minutes. I put it down and like a foot over, I grab another one. Yeah. And she's like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, you got to go home. <laughs> this one's my chicken. Yeah. This one's my chicken. chicken. What are we doing here? Got, got a three-year-old in the car just <laughs> kicking. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's yeah, freaking yeah, out. Just yeah, watch yeah. Paw Patrol. Dad's yeah, busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before Alice uh, starts. <laughs> mine used to be, I'd look at a nan and she'd go, what? I said, look at this. What the fuck is that? <laughs> like, who built that? Where's the yeah. freaking sign? How do you shop if I can't know the price? And why yeah. is that on the bottom? It's an inverted pyramid. It looks idiotic. Yeah, so I trip over a floor stack. Think, what the hell is that? Yeah, Why would you, you put a pasta floor stack in front of the pasta? That's not how you upsell. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're going down the aisle anyways. What a waste of money and time. This is just a waste of corrugate. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 with you on 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 something there, which is like in this industry, there's a lot of common sense versus complexity, right? <laughs> and like what what you're 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 touching on is something that is is the challenge, right? And Justin talked about the science and like all the data and all the the methodologies we bring to try and make the industry run smoother is, is I think one of the things I fell in love with. The other side of it is just um, seeing your stuff hit stores, right? Like so I, cool. mm -hmm. so the first cool. time you like get a listing and you go to store, like yes. you, you, you figure out how to get an end cap or whatever it is. And you start to, you go to like one store is there and you go to the next and like, I don't know when you're growing up, you don't, you don't know that this onion of, of, um, of coordination that's that's right. being done in the background you kind sure. of take it for granted right like every every store to you and you're growing up as a mom and pop shop but there's a lot more yeah. a lot more coordination going on in the background yeah you're right i like i remember seeing the first time i saw a product that i sold in a costco and to me that like blew my freaking mind seeing a pallet of product that that's we got in so we designed the tray the product like got it all ready and costco to me was always like well you get something at costco like you got yeah. something here, right you're really yeah. in that just 
the feeling of that, like the the pride behind it was so cool. So did you go back? Day. Did you go back three times in the same week? <laughs> Because I did that. I, yeah. I was like, I've, I've done that. It. Yes. Right. And then I didn't, but I did. And then the sweat <laughs> breaks out because you're like, oh shit. Like, I hope, I hope. Right. And then I think I went back after three days the first time and I was like, oh my God, there's still stuff on here. Like, I don't, yeah. did they now restack it or return. like, you know? <laughs> yeah. <When's it laughs> I was like, back, oh my somebody's going to call. Stuff. Like, I'm going to get a crap because it's still it's sitting true. there. Like, you know, like, <laughs> when I have seasonal programs, like seasonal programs, I'm weird. Like, I'll be in the store, like, five days in a row like just like trying to trying to i just can't wait for the data to get released so i'll just keep going back and like counting what's on the on the shelf and seeing like okay okay yeah. well it's also Is getting it to the day where the prayer starts you think oh my god i, I can't take this shit back yeah. i can't take this shit back someone needs <laughs> to buy it someone needs to buy it how yeah, come it's not right. moving how come it's not moving right yeah yeah you're totally. absolutely right yeah oh and even god. like alex and i used to work at the same company and i haven't been there for six years and I still send him pictures, like I would say once every couple of weeks, because I still walk down those aisles and check it out. And it's kind of it's kind of funny. But and then I think that I guess the second part of your question was the the CPG yeah. podcast. Yeah. Why do we why do we do that? And yeah, you know, it, it's not like some, at least in my mind, maybe Alex has a more eloquent way of saying it, but there's not some, you know, wild thought behind it. It was really uh, I missed Alex. And every time we chatted, we both worked in CPG our whole life and we would you know, just have beers and talk about things for hours. And it was one of these things where I wanted to do a better job of keeping in touch with people I had met over my career and wanted to do a better job of keeping in touch with Alex and also meet some new people. And this just seemed like the best form to do that. Honestly, it was like just publishing all of these coffee chats and conversations I wanted to have. Yeah. I think, I think like all the same for me, but then building off it, like the experience has been, pretty eye-opening and just how amazing the community is right like I, I think supportive yeah it's it's an interesting thing because like there's a lot of people in the community with their heads down who aren't reaching out and like I I think I've said it on the cast like I I am not um a big like social media user naturally and, and maybe more since since joining the cast but mm -hmm. I think like people don't realize that there's such a, a great energy within consumer products in yeah. particular and and people doing really cool stuff and and i think like you know when i look at the future in cpg and and things that like make me excited and like we we talked to alicia from humble and like the types of problems some companies are solving like new like new nutritional you know uh technologies like new packaging sustainability technologies like learning about how people are tackling some of that stuff is just it's pretty inspiring as well yeah it's pretty it's amazing right? yeah it is. We, it's what we love about it too right like we just you know we we meet all these people and they do such unlikely things right, right. like all these people that you know like well all the training that we've got you know that it would say no are, are you crazy like don't do that and like i i think i think one of like my favorite stories is like early early on i we got together with a friend of mine. She had moved out to Newfoundland I to make that. chocolate. She like she manufactures Aunt Sarah's chocolate. Mm -hmm. And she did oh. she she grew up at J and J, right? So you're kind of like, okay, so you got, you know, to you know, top tier training, all this stuff. She moved out to Newfoundland to like a tiny town of like 500 people and no, start selling chocolate 50 people, or 100. 50, sorry, like 50. Nobody like, there. It was really small, right? Yeah. And she like, lives like, on the island. Yeah. Yeah. That the town looks at. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, needed, she needed to get away from the hustle and bustle of the person city. Yeah. She had to go out. So she was yeah, on Main Street. Did. I'm thinking it was really crazy. Main street. It's the only street. No, it's the only street. <laughs> but it's amazing, right? And and like yeah. now she's got three shops. She's got ice cream that get that it's sold all over the island and all the major groceries. Like she's just. You know what you I mean? Like everything in, in what we grew up on. Like oh. you go no, nah, like it's not. <laughs> it's not oh, supposed yeah. to happen, right? Like. Yeah. Those are amazing. We we should introduce you actually to Sarah. You'd love her. Yeah. You guys yeah. love her. You'd love her. I mean, she's so cool story. Yeah. Just a cool story. And like, yeah, my God. Yeah. I mean, yeah, really. Yeah. Really. But anyway, I, I I I were I think we're like you guys. One, I wanted to talk to Kenny every week. And then just like these stories are um all of them, right? Like, and then the yeah. pandemic stories, like you guys have had some really yeah. amazing guests on already, and people doing shit in the pandemic that they <laughs> never should be doing. <laughs> no right? like, yeah, yeah. it's amazing it's amazing it is. It yeah. is i just like the story i mean i've been in this yeah. for so long 
you know, like it's 43 years pretty soon, right? Yeah. That I've been doing this. I, I just, I don't know. It's never, every time even I try to get out, it's funny. I was telling Rattan today because I'm a Jeeva today. And I, I said, you know, like even every time I try to do something else, like there's this kind of this magnet that just sort of keeps dragging it back in. It doesn't matter whether it's the supply side or the retail side. Yeah. I, the people are awesome. Like it's a good industry, right? Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. it really is. And we were talking about that on a, on a podcast with, with Alicia the other day of just like the energy at last CHFA West, like everyone hugging and shaking hands and laughing and just like, it was so contagious, that energy. It was so wonderful. And it was so missed during the pandemic. Yeah. And it just reminded you how amazing this industry is and just exactly. how much like everyone loves each other and being around each other. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty it really cool. Is. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. Um, Okay, I think that kind of wraps up the fast thought. Um, Justin and Alex, if people people should be listening to your podcast, uh, it's called Hearts and Cards. Where where do you find it? Any you know any place where you stream podcasts, Spotify, okay. Apple, Google, Amazon, or on YouTube as well. Um, so just search Hearts at or Hearts and Cards, and you should be able to find it. Awesome, awesome, great podcast. thanks guys. This yeah, really like really great podcast. podcasts. I love listening to thanks, it, guys. Thanks, yeah, guys. that means a these, lot. Thanks. Guys. These two guys actually have, uh, if you haven't listened to the episode, the Labatt's person actually um, even identified you guys based on on beers, right? Like they related <laughs> your, your characters right. to beers. So yeah, I don't remember the awesome. beer names, but I do that's remember awesome. her kind of yeah. doing that. So it was yes. pretty cool. Yeah, was, Justin uh, was Stanley Park, and uh, and I am neutral. Which, which I wasn't yeah. sure, wasn't sure if it was a good thing or a bad. Yeah, thing. that's right. It's because I figured it was neutral. <laughs> because you really wanted to be, you wanted to be a Belgian beer, be but she Stella was like, "No, nah, you're not right." Like you wanted to be Stella. I wanted to be Stella. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. 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 Can I be like, Stella? No, so. you're you're neutral. <laughs> you're definitely neutral. <laughs> I remember that. I'm local, right. so yeah. 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 Awesome. Thanks, awesome. guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.